Hey guys, it's the Average Gamers here today. Today we're playing Dying Light on my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. I have an AMD um, FX 6300 uh, 6-core CPU at 3.5 gigahertz as well. Um, I have 16 gigabytes of uh, DDR3 RAM and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm running this on Windows 7 64-bit if that's anything. Well, anyways, so... Um, this game has some problems, okay? It runs better on NVIDIA cards, which I have, thankfully. Um, if you have a Radeon card, you're kind of out of luck there. Um, also, it runs a bit better on Intel-based CPUs rather than AMD-based CPUs. So, um, let's talk about settings here. Um, from what I've seen from some other videos, um, referring to Total Biscuits video, the view distance really only affects um, detail on objects that are far away. So, like, for example, let's look at something over there, like that tower over there. Okay, you see the tower in the distance? Let's go ahead and go into the options right now and turn that sucker all the way up. All the way up. Okay, now my frame rate, I can already tell, is going to be dipping. Yeah. Okay, so it looks a bit better, but my frame rate is now 19 frames per second, as it was 30 before, and I'm only getting between 30 and 40 in this, in the open, okay, back in the tutorial, I had this game on the max settings that it could go, okay, I had view distance up all the way in the tutorial, and it was perfectly fine, but, oh, hold on, I didn't save that, did I? Yeah, back in the tutorial, I had it on the max settings, and I was getting fine frames. About really close to 60 frames. But in the open world part, I get about, right now, I'm getting 32 frames per second. If I look this way, I'm getting 29. Now, it's it's fluctuating between about 29 and 35. Which, on medium, they need to do some definite fixing for this game. See, right now, I am, am getting anywhere from... Well, now I'm getting 50 frames. See, it's it's all over the place. This game really is all over the place with the settings. And... But, it is a very fun game. Oh, crap! I didn't see that one up here. <laughs> Die, you bastard. So anyways, this game is, I would say it's, it's very fun. It's a lot better than Dead Island. Oh gosh, dang it. Let's see, I think it was, hold on, maybe it needed to go this way. I thought I had it. I know you go... Oh, almost a little bit more. There we go. It's just like the lock picking in Skyrim, basically. <laughs> it's exactly the lock picking system in Skyrim. So I'm going to take the coffee. Um, let's see if any of my weapons are fine. Uh, I'd rather have. Can I, I think I'm going to drop the. Let's see. The four plank. I don't know why. I have this. No, wait. I think it was... Those do... No, I'm going to drop the table leg. There you go. Now I can pick that up. Nope. The wrench, please. Thank you. Okay. So, back to what I was talking about. Um, The game is definitely a fun game. It's just that it has some optimization issues. Not on the scale of like a Ubisoft game or something like that. It's more on the scale of it's it's minor. I mean to it's it's playable. It just could be a lot better is what I'm saying. You can execute you throw them around, huh? How do you get this one, I guess? <laughs> Yeah, so, let's see, let's see if I can, 
I'm trying, I don't know if DX Tori is showing my frame rate on screen while it's recording right now. I hope it is because I chose that option, but for whatever reason, it doesn't want to sometimes. So, yeah. And if you notice, it's certain ways you're looking. Like if I'm looking this way, I'm getting a decent frame rate. If I turn a different way, I'm getting a little bit less of a frame rate. It's kind of confusing how the whole thing works, but. But over a oh piss! <laughs> that one just came out of there like really fast. And also, what I've heard is the fact it um it has some kind of issue with the core, the cores, because it'll um max out the first core. And I think that's part of the problem, is because you know I think it's a multi-threading issue. I think is one of the main problems. It's not more graphics based it's more the CPU could be having an issue like they're overloading and putting more processes on one CPU rather than the other one and that that hurt <laughs> so yeah um wow that was bogus <laughs> nothing in that one so what I would say is I would Honestly, kind of wish I had waited till a week or two to get the game. But, I mean, it's it's fine because I already, you know, I have it. But, I mean, because I think it would have just been a little bit better with those uh, optimization things fixed. And then I can probably actually run it. Maybe I can actually run it on max settings at that point in time. If we, if they fix it, you know, which they should. What? Shh. Okay. Oh, son of a. See, and that's what happens is sometimes the frame rate will just drop dramatically, and then sometimes it's fine. It's what, well, like there? You saw it. You saw that, right? Like it was fine, and then it just kind of tanked a bit. But I guess that's fine because uh, cough cough on next gen consoles it's only only gonna be 30 FPS anyways like PS4 and Xbox One so <laughs> I guess I'm already getting better performance than them I can't imagine playing this at a locked 30 FPS that would just be like a, a criminal yeah I don't know I can't. See, I don't know how they always end up making it on a console where the frame rate isn't sporadic, but then they can't manage to do that on PC. I mean, there's a lot of games that are they're optimized perfectly fine on PC, but then there's just some that, that don't do that well. Like, Dead Island was pretty well on PC. I can run that one fine, so I don't know what what tech lane did with this one so I guess we could it's basically showing you some of the gameplay with uh, what the heck oh there's some kind of electricity field down there for whatever reason I don't know <laughs> oh I thought that was one of the ones you could grab onto some of the poles let you grab onto them if you jump up in the air and press spacebar. So I thought that's one of the ones you could grab onto. Apparently it was not. Yeah, but the... Um, ooh! I can lockpick into this. But now there's a ton of zombies around me, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> Repair that. Let's see. I think. Yeah, I can lockpick into this. Let's 
just do this real fast. Oh, come on. I almost had it. Oh, come on. There's zombies around me. I don't want to. Come on, game. Let me do it. There we go. Oh, heck yeah. What else is in here? Is that it? Was that it? <laughs> Only one med kit. I guess that's better than nothing, isn't it? Oh, that's a big zombie. Ah. See if I can jump to anything from here. <laughs> Craft an item. At least it pauses the game. <laughs> that would suck if it didn't. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't craft that yet. I guess I don't have the right weapons to be able to do it. Ooh. Huh. I just added electricity to my weapon. Okay, which, which weapon was that? Like, there we go. Okay. Which one was it? I think it was that. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Get fried, son. Damn. <laughs> oh, there is something on the ground. A stick. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm up here. <laughs> But overall, the game is pretty freaking fun. It's just, gotta watch out for nightfall. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing a mission right now, aren't I? Talk to Spike. I guess we can go back over that way. The man, he's from Cowboy Bebop. He's in Cowboy Bebop. If you don't know what Cowboy Bebop is, then you have a problem, don't you? A very, very big problem, by the way. Why you know watch anime, big boy? Oh, it's getting darker. Oh! What was that noise? I need to get my agility up so I can, like, run faster without him getting tired. Oh, gosh, that hurts, didn't it? The free running system is very cool in this game. I think so, at least. And at least the combat is a lot better than Dead Island, you know. As you can pretty much already tell. Oh. What is that? Is there a note? Oh, I can take that. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Don't stay outside when it's dark. You don't stay outside when it's dark. You can't sleep now. That's fun. Whoa, what's this? Oh, I thought there was like a, a thing over the cop car, actually. Oh, that's a big guy. I'm out of here. Can't jump on that. Ba -ba 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 -ba.
Hop over it, you hard heart. <laughs> oh, piss. If we can jump onto that. <laughs> Keep a lookout for the colored smoke. It means air. Spike, what's up? Crane, first of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. Okay. I'll go back to the tower area. We'll finally get to meet Brecken in person. Huh. Whoa. What's that? Is Frank up? Okay, okay, there we go. Good. Oh, that's the survivor tree. Okay. Uh, Learn to... Use space in your backpack more efficiently for new slots. Ooh, that's pretty good. Create boosters to allow you to fight without getting tired. Run faster. See better in darkness. Ooh, uh, it's hard to choose. I think I'm going to go with the weapons. For now, I guess. I don't know how many points I'll get, though. Will I be able to get enough points to be able to fill up this whole tree, though? I hope. I hope so. New outfit unlocked, athlete. Why Why does it matter? You can't see your character anyways. <laughs> oh, you unlocked a new outfit. Oh, that would be so cool. But, uh, you know, you don't even see your character in the first place. So, yeah. Up there. Heck, kind of crap. Oh, okay. I had to go up here to make a call. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Guess that ought to do it for this gameplay. Catch you guys later.